Okay, so let's look at one more example here where I have a series and my series is like really just kind of complicated. If I try to write out, for example, what SN was, it would just like be this horrible mess and, and we don't really know how to do anything with it. Indeed, that's pretty much often the case. In the telescoping series, we could write out the SN and everything cancelled and it was really neat, but in the vast majority of cases, if we try to write out what SN was, it's just going to be this horrifying mess. So how do we deal with this? And if I look at this, I'm like very tempted to do an integration because I see an e to the minus n squared and then multiplied by a power of n on the, on the bottom. It, it kind of like screams u subs to me, but that's something we did back in integration. So let's just compare this to the improper integral. Indeed, if I consider the improper integral 1 to infinity of 4 times x e to the minus x squared, so I'm replacing my n with x here, dx, well, I'd first know that this is the same thing as the limit as t goes to infinity of the integral from 1 up to t of 4x e to the minus x squared dx. That's how I deal with improper integrals. I write this as the sort of this limit of these quote-unquote partial integrals. They're sort of analogous to partial sums in series. So if I do a little bit of a u sub, maybe I'm going to say that u is equal to x squared. That means that du is equal to 2x dx. If x is equal to 1, that implies that u is equal to 1. And if x is equal to t, that implies that u is equal to t squared. So I can replace this entire thing. This is just the limit as t goes to infinity of the integral from 1 up to t squared, uh, I have a 4x, so this is a 2 du e to the minus u du. And this is just the limit as t goes to infinity of a minus sign, because that's the e to the minus u, t e to the minus u evaluated between 1 and t squared which is the same thing as limit as t goes to infinity of minus 2 e to the minus t squared, all subtracted, because I've got two minus signs, I've got to put a plus sign, all plus 2 e to the minus 1. And then if I evaluate this as t goes to infinity, this, this whole first term is going to 0, so I'm just left with this 2 over e, and therefore that's my answer. So that's my answer for the integral. The integral converges to 2 over e, and therefore my original series from 1 to infinity of 4n e to the minus n squared converges. And again, note that I'm not saying it converges to 2 over e. It almost certainly doesn't. Uh, I'm merely saying that it converges.